I'm at the park in. I'm with Mr. Ryan Sar. It's a guy oh, I really admire. Um, right, you're playing at the music festival. Um, do you know when and where you're playing? I think I'm at the uh, Market Square and uh, a couple of other local pubs. I'm not, not sure yet. I think you're playing in the rack at some stage as well, are you not? I, I'm happy to play anywhere. I, I I'm happy to are. play anywhere. I have so. heard that. I have heard that. So, yeah. Now, Ryan, you, you're pretty much a solo act. You get up on stage, which I think is really difficult. You get up with just you and your guitar and you belt out some tunes, right? Yeah, I'll have a go. How long have you been doing that? Uh, I've, I've been playing uh, quite a few years now, probably six years, seven years, mm. and uh, been having a little tiddle. But the last year or so, I've, I actually bought my own PA system and tried having a go. Yeah. I actually come and done an open mic with you guys yeah. at the... Uh, where was it? Out I think the it was a Priory, wasn't it? And you did um, there's a uh, few gigs. Grove you've done Ferry, with yeah, the Grove, Grove Ferry, Ferry. That was it. Grove yeah, yeah, yeah. Ferry. Grove Ferry was my first ever one, and yeah. then uh, and from there I sort of got the was taste. Was that your first? First ever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you were fantastic at the Grove. I didn't know that was your first. Yeah, that was my my yeah. my virgin. Yeah, my virgin performance. And we so. we've got recordings of that as well. And so you know, no one would have guessed that would be your yeah, first. Yeah, that's it. I think it's on YouTube and stuff. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And you, I mean, if I can be so bold as to say, your voice and your approach reminds me a little bit of Jack Johnson. You've got a, a really good oh, tone to your Johnson. voice. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a massive, massive influence of mine. And yeah, Newton Faulkner as well, and Tracy yeah. Chapman. And, yeah, Paolo yeah, Nutini. Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot of old, old, yeah, just. And you, you also, you, you, there's a treatment you give to the songs, which is slightly different. Um, I'm trying to think now of some of the tunes you do. There's the um, Wrench 32 song that you do. A tractor, yeah, tractor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that that went down a storm at the Grove Ferry, funnily enough. In fact, Ryan, if I can embarrass you a little bit, I think that got more hits than any other video we recorded at that particular session. Well, thank you very much, Lane. Yeah, no, it, it yeah, did, no, it wicked, did. But, but, but there was a, there's a treatment you give to the songs, which definitely, to use a Simon Cowellism, Simon Scowellism, you make you do make the songs your own. There's some, there's I try to, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I don't like to listen to a song too much. I just yeah. like to, to to have a go at it and and do what I can with it, sort of thing. Is that is that a deliberate treatment, or do you find that look, I'm just going to do it my way? This is my style. This is how I want to, to make the noise. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it is quite deliberate because I I do like to do my own thing, and I just mm. like to sort of do something. And when someone looks around and thinks, oh, I know that, I know that, but and then it takes them a couple of minutes. I do Cisco's Fong song as well, yeah, yeah, and that's, yeah, yeah. that's always one that gets people because. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I sort of get through it, and people are sort of hearing it, and then the next minute they click, and it's yeah. yeah I just I like to get that that reaction from people. And you're so. one of the few acts I've seen, a solo act in this area, that has played a gig, got up on stage, sat there, and the pubs chatting away, lots of things going on, and the whole place fell silent. That was at the Plow and Harrow. Yeah, yeah, that was an awesome night. Yeah, it was yeah, an yeah. awesome night. But what what was really interesting is how you managed to engage an entire audience. They they all just shut up and paid attention. And I think that's a testament to the quality of the tone of your voice. Because, nice one. You no, know, it is, it is, isn't it? Because they did shut up, didn't they? And they did pay attention. So, you know, I, I, I know you're a shy guy, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know oh, you're well, a shy I'm guy. not. It's strange. It's, it's really strange because I'm actually not in person. Mm. But the minute I get up there and, and I feel that there's a lot of eyes watching me and it, it's different, it's different. It's like mm. I'm, I'm struggling now with this looking at me. But yeah. it's one of them. It's I'm just trying to do what I do and... Yeah. So, what what inspired you to play? What made you pick the guitar up? Uh, my mum was a massive singer. I lost my mum a few years back, and mm. uh, and my granddad, and they both both were massive singers. So, so yeah, they loved it, and I'd just try and try and do what they they keep the light yeah, alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. one, man. I yeah. love that. Yeah. And you've written a, a song for Dover as well. That was hugely popular. I recorded yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, Our that town. Some, that's yeah. called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that got something like fifteen hundred hits in about three or four days. Yeah, yeah, didn't no, it? No, it and it made cool, the yeah, newspaper. Yeah. It did. Yeah, it was page two of the Dover Express. Made, that the, made was, the newspaper. Uh, uh, that's uh, that's my claim to fame. That is. Yeah. Uh, page two of the Dover so, Express. So you write your own stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I write quite a few songs. I mean, I can't encourage you enough to come and see Ryan. I mean, I'm a big fan of Ryan, so I've seen him play. He's played with us a number of times. And what I love about this guy is his energy. Um, he comes across as a shy fella, but he'll sit there and you will put out an entire set. Put out, And, and you're gigging well now, aren't you? You're doing quite a few gigs all I'm, over uh, the yeah, place. Yeah, I'm starting to get about a bit now. It's just starting to pick up. And uh, yeah, yeah. Any, anywhere else that uh, wants me, yeah. get hold of me, sir. So. All right, well, listen, Ryan, it's an absolute pleasure to know you. It's an absolute pleasure to play Wicked. with you at times. And um, I really wish you great success. Yeah, nice one, mate. Cheers. Nice one, brother. What's up?
and I was born in 1984. Come out the doors of Buckland Hospital. In a town called Dover, we've got white cliffs on a castle. In a town called Dover, we've got white cliffs on a castle. Now I'm 29, and things are not fine in our town. And Folkestone Road. There's no place to go, but it's our town And nowadays I hear people say that they're frightened It shouldn't be the way, remember when we're playing our town Look these at midday then jumping off the jetty in our town Some stones on the beach all day Then jumping off the jetty in our town If we could go back in time I think things would be fine in our town If Dorian's born and bred Please raise your heads, it's our town Yes, that's what I said, Dovorians, born and bred, it's our town. Yes, that's what I said, Dovorians, born and bred, it's our town.